Hi everyone, the Simple Dad here. So do you want to unlock the hidden power of your Samsung S25 Ultra? So in this quick guide, I'm sharing five game-changing tips using built-in features, tools like My File Labs and Good Lock. So these aren't your average tips. They're your next level customization and optimization that will make your Galaxy feel truly yours. So let's dive in. So feature number one is your permanently delete option. So by default, when you open an image and you want to press delete, you just get this option here to move it to recycle bin. However, you can turn on a feature where you can basically permanently delete this image instead of moving it to the recycling bin. So let me show you how to turn this feature on. So to do this, you want to first go ahead and open up the My Files app. Next, you want to go ahead and tap on the three dots at the top right, and then go ahead and tap on Settings. Now here, you want to go ahead and scroll down until you see about My File Labs. And here, you want to go ahead and tap on multiple times on My Files until you see an option where it says Enable My Files Labs. Go back and you'll see this new menu appear here. So this is only for internal testing. However, they offer features which are not available in your normal version of My File Labs. So go ahead and tap on this. Turn this feature on, and from here, you want to go ahead and turn on Permanently Delete option. So it will only show the Permanently Delete option in the Delete dialog. So now once you do this, you want to go ahead and open up Images. And now from here, you want to go ahead and choose what image you want to delete. So if you go ahead and press this, press Delete, you'll get this option called Permanent Delete. So instead of moving to your recycle bin, you can go ahead and tick that, and that will permanently delete that image. So this basically saves your storage space immediately, skips this two-step delete process, and it's perfect for users who manage large files often. Feature number two is where you can reorganize folders. So on your Samsung S25 Ultra, you can use the reorganize feature in the labs menu to intelligently sort and group your folders based on file type, frequency of access, and custom rules. So let me show you how to turn this feature on. So here you need to go ahead and first open up My Files. Next, you want to go ahead and tap on the three dots at the top right, then tap on Settings. Now here, you want to go ahead and scroll down and find About My Files. Go ahead and tap multiple times until you see this option. You have enabled My File Labs. Go back. And now here, you have enabled a secret menu. Tap on My File Labs. Turn this feature on. And here, you need to go ahead and find Reorganize Folders. So this will tidy up the folder that has over 100 items and will reduce the time of finding file. To turn this feature on, go back, close your My Files, open it again. And now this will make your file browsing faster and easier. You spend less time digging through clutter and more time being productive. Feature number three is where you can compress video files. So on your Samsung S25 Ultra, you can use a built-in video compressor in the gallery or My Files app to reduce the file sizes without needing third-party apps. So here's an example. If you've taken a video shot using these high qualities like Ultra HD or 8K, you can go ahead and use a built-in feature which will reduce the size from Ultra HD to Full HD or HD. So let me show you how to do this. So here is an example. I have shot this in Ultra HD. So if I look at the details, you'll see that it's shot in UHD at 60 frames per second. So let's say I want to send this to someone. However, I want to send a low quality, or maybe let's say I want a full HD quality of this. So I want to save space on my Samsung S25 Ultra. So in order to compress this video file, I'll go ahead and tap on edit. Next, I'll tap on the three dots at the top right. And then I'll tap on size and format. So here I can go ahead and choose QHD, full HD or HD. I'll go ahead and choose HD. Next, I'll go ahead and choose HDR or SDR. So HDR will look better, but then SDR will be able to play every on every device. Next, I'll go ahead and choose a video codec. So I can choose HAVC, which will save me space, and H.264, which is more compatible. So since I'm more about compressing the video and I need space, so I'll go ahead and select that, and then I'll go ahead and press Done. Now, once you're happy, press Save, and Save again. And now you've successfully compressed this file from UHD to HD. 
So this basically saves valuable storage space and makes it easy to share videos via email or messaging without compromising too much on the quality. Feature number four is where you can create your own moving wallpaper. So on your Samsung S25 Ultra, you can use the GoodLock app and you can create custom live wallpapers with animated elements, touch effects, and layered visuals. So let me show you how to do this. So first you need to go ahead and open up the Galaxy Store. In Galaxy Store, you're looking for an app called GoodLock. Search for GoodLock. Go ahead and download this. Once installed, open it. Now in the GoodLock app, you need to go ahead and open up the Wonderland module, which is right here. Now here you want to go ahead and tap on create your own moving wallpaper. So here I'll go ahead and take this. Now I'll go ahead and tap on image settings and I can enable motion effect so I can do some motions to it. Next, I can go ahead and tap on the plus sign and I can add all these effects. So I can add a video file. Particle presets. And then once I'm happy with this, I can even add all these other stuff here. So once I'm happy with this, I'll go ahead and press and down save then press and save again. And I'll go ahead and set this as a wallpaper for my home screen. So once that's done, the wallpaper has been set. So as you can see, I have set my very own moving wallpaper on my home screen using good luck. So this gives your phone a completely personalized dynamic look that reflects your style. So you stand out from the generic static wallpapers. And lastly, feature number five is where you can combine your quick panel and notification panel. So on your Samsung S25 Ultra, you can adjust your settings. So when you swipe down, it brings down both notification and quick panel. So as you see right now, if I swipe from the left, notification panel opens up. If I swipe from the right, quick panel opens up. So you can basically change this. And instead of opening separate, you can basically bring both of them down. So let me show you how to do this. So in order to do this, go ahead and bring down the quick panel menu, tap on the pencil icon. Next, tap on panel settings. Now from here, you need to go ahead and select together and tap on back and done. Now when you press home and now when you bring down the notification panel, you'll see that your quick panel menu has been brought down as well. So it's all set to become together. So this is great as you don't need to do two separate swipes. You can just go ahead and swipe anywhere. You get your quick panel menu and you get your notification menu as well. So this basically speeds up access to your settings and alerts in one place. So it's smoother and you have more intuitive control experience on your Samsung S25 Ultra. And that's it. Five powerful tips that will instantly level up your Samsung S25 Ultra experience. So from smoother multitasking to cooler customization, these features will make your device smarter and more personal. So try them out and let your phone work for you, not the other way around. So do you like what you learned? Share these tips with fellow Galaxy users and subscribe for more hidden features and mobile hacks. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.